my name is Björn Roos. I work for Svea Skog as a forest assistant. Uh, and I have been working with wood for the past three years to plan the right fellings and thinnings to optimize the wind turbines. Uh, we have ongoing discussions about where to fell to kind of get the most out of the turbines and what we can do without actually changing too much of our forestry. And we try to leave as much of the parts of the fellings that are uh, beneficial for the wildlife. That's a really good thing. We can feel the wind, but we can't see the wind. The behaviour of the wind is actually critically important to the performance of wind turbines. Therefore, it becomes important that we find a way of seeing and measuring the wind. We've built analysis around that and measurement using LiDAR technology. That allows us to understand the behaviour of the wind above the forestry canopy how more turbulent it is because of the trees. And what we very often see then is that through a combination of measures to manage the forestry in a way that mitigates the effects of the trees on the turbines whilst respecting the requirements of the forestry operators, but in the end, increasing the productivity of the wind farm. The most impressive results for us definitely have been around forestry and the direct and the indirect effects of forestry on the performance of the turbines and what can be recovered. That's where we see the greatest gains and we've seen gains of well above 5%. Then that can be added to the extended life of the turbines by reducing the loadings. And in some cases we've seen tens of millions of pounds of gain in value for a portfolio of wind farms been very impressive what has been achieved in the last 10 years.